the things that excites me most about the internet is the ability to make money. Is anyone interested in making some money? <laughs> so um, there's there's this uh, <laughs> there's this thing um, there's this thing called a credit card. Have you seen one of these? A credit card? Well, this is actually a debit card, right? So. Can you remember making your first payment on the internet with a credit card or a debit card? Anyone remember that? Their first time. So it's kind of a scary thing. And what about PayPal? Has anyone used PayPal? I know it's not a big thing in Japan, but... So there's uh, two examples of ways that we can uh, send money on the internet and, and use the internet for, for sending money. So. Um, today I'm going to open your mind up, if anyone's uh, open to having their mind opened up, I'm going to open your mind up to a whole new different way of thinking about the internet. And some people call this Web, uh, web.3 uh, web instead of Web2. You know, this guy is Mike Tyson. He's into the um, Bitcoin business. He's got ATMs that you can get money out of. To like them. So uh, this is a bit of an interesting... Uh, thing that's going on there, and uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about how Bitcoin can change the world, um, and uh, and also uh, maybe you know this guy here, Richard Branson, he's invested over $30 million into Bitcoin uh, startups so far, so I'm now going to um, just play a quick video, and um, hopefully this is uh, this is going to work quite well and uh, and be easy to do. Yorick, how, how do I get into the, um, how do I get back into the, um, like the... The start of the, what, the, the desktop? Go escape again? No. Not working yet. Might just make it smaller, it's a good idea. Alright, so we're going to watch a quick video, um, which is going to explain things much better than I can, so... Hopefully, um, we're not cooked up to the, uh, the sound yet. It's was to digitally replicate gold, kind of a gold standard for the internet. The idea of a decentralized uh, currency is, is important because it removes those levels of power that people can exploit to corrupt a currency. Well, Bitcoin is the world's first completely decentralized digital currency. Um, that's what's unique about Bitcoin. It is, for the first time, a way for the two of us to exchange value online without a third party intermediary. Until the invention of Bitcoin, for you and me to exchange money online, we had to employ a third party, like PayPal, like Visa, like MasterCard. Bitcoin's value is at an all-time high again. Its market cap is now twice what it was at the 2011 peak. It is nowhere near its potential, Rick Salting says, which is four orders of magnitude above today's value. This is where the quantitative easing is flooding in the downward and all-time high. The very same day, Bitcoin the unmanipulated free market of Bitcoin hit an all-time high of $46. Bitcoins are booming. The price of one unit of the digital jumped during the past few weeks from about $40 to nearly $150. That is bigger than many expected, so if you're looking for a safe haven, Deirdre, you might want to start considering virtual cash. The value of each Bitcoin hit a new high this week. As of right now, it's around $450. That is the value of one Bitcoin. What people don't see in the background is hundreds and hundreds of startups. Uh, that have significant innovation that are being invested in by uh, mainstream investors and that are creating thousands of jobs right now. So Bitcoin is a little island of growth and jobs and opportunity and innovation. It is a form of internet cash, a virtual currency that can be traded online and Bitcoin has been taking off. Some guy just transferred the six and a half a million dollars uh, using uh, bitcoins and it cost him six cents. Now the PayPal fee that would be 188,500. If he'd done it over a bank wire, it would have been all, uh, over a quarter million dollars. The Washington Post quoted experts calling bitcoin the holy grail. Astonishingly secure, anonymous, invisible to the tax man. It could soon rival the dollar. It's the first time that we have actually a shared currency which is not controlled by any central bank or any central party. The real criminals are not the people that are using Bitcoin. The real criminals are the guys who are wearing suits and going around Wall Street and every day scamming people. It's about removing control of wealth from, from, from countries and from banks. All right, Bitcoin has taken the market by storm and causing controversy and uncertainty the world over. 
Ron Paul said dollar alternatives like Bitcoin are fantastic. They offer freedom of choice. They're commodities that offer better value than what the Fed is printing. Fiat money is never going to be stable. It's always going to deteriorate. A Bitcoin is, is quite a bit different than something that's come about in the modern age. Take our dollar. It's lost 96% of its value since 1913. The Australian dollar, it's fallen 99% over that same period. The Canadian dollar, down 95%. The British pound, off 99%. Warren Buffett recently stated the obvious about all of this. He publicly said people are white to fear paper money, that it's only going to be worth less and less over time. These currencies are dying right in front of us. None of us are blind to what's going on. It's impossible to be shut down. That's the beautiful thing about it is that there is no place, there is no Bitcoin place. You can't shoot Bitcoin. It's as easy as buying any foreign currency. Transfer in cash and get Bitcoin delivered to your virtual wallet on your laptop or phone. The value of Bitcoin skyrocketed to a new record of $900 today. There's just too much money in Bitcoin to have to wait. The target value for Bitcoin is not some $50 or $100, it is $100,000 to a million. Mm -hmm. In the 21st century, if we want to have a video call to China, we can do that for free. But to send a couple hundred bucks, which is essentially just ones and zeros being moved around, costs 5%. The VP of PayPal, Bitcoin, the perfect currency by design. Bill Gates, it's a techno tour de force. So the great value is that it's a technology that no one person controls. So the banks don't interfere with it, the government doesn't interfere with it. You control your money, you can send it where you want to be one. It's not so theoretical concept, it's a billion dollar market, it's here now, it's working, it's using it. You have to imagine. Once it's auto-integrated into every web browser, cell phone, and email, it's almost unfathomable how high Bitcoin could go. All right, so um, you can see that they're talking there that if you want to send uh, $6 million, it's going to cost you a quarter of a million dollars in bank fees or PayPal fees to send it. But maybe for you and me, we are, um, where they're talking about sending $200, and it still costs the same amount. It costs four cents to, to send it with Bitcoin. So that's that's one immediate advantage. And uh, I hope uh, you take the chance to um, you know try it out and uh, and just see how easy it is to do and save that twenty dollars um, that you may be able to save. I've, I've got a um, a team member in the Philippines, and I pay her about one hundred and eighty dollars a month. She works part time um, in our team, and. She saves twenty dollars a month, which is a huge amount of money in the Philippines, uh, just because I uh, I pay her in the Bitcoin. I'm just trying to um, go back to the presentation again here. Um, you know how, where do I go back here to get back into this? I don't know. I'm lost. Here we go. Hopefully it's all right. Okay. So uh, what was it? F five. Mm. All right. So. Um, I'm just going to um, talk about a little bit about what it is. Uh, it was at, wasn't actually invented by a Japanese um, guy, but the uh, the inventor has actually got a Japanese name, but he's a kind of an unknown person, um, Satoshi uh, Nakamoto. Satoshi means wisdom or reason. Um, Bitcoin started about five years ago. Um, what are Bitcoins? Uh, they're digital coins that you can send on the internet. Um, where are they stored? They're, they're stored in digital wallets um, that... Uh, that everyone can have access to. Um, what is Bitcoin mining? Um, Bitcoin mining is done by um, increasingly clever computers um, making equations um, that unlock coins on this thing called the block blockchain. So you unlock a block and then you mine the, um, you process the coins. At the moment about 16 million coins have been processed and is allowed to be 21 million processed. So we're about three quarters of the way through processing all the bitcoins, and they're getting harder and harder to find. And uh, at the moment, a bitcoin is worth about 385 US dollars, uh, maybe about um, goman yen. So um, at the moment, uh, you, you might think, well, that's, that's too much for me to buy. But the good news is that you can buy it back in decimal points, back to the eighth. So you can actually buy five cents or 10 cents in, in bitcoin if you want to. 
Uh, so, do you want to take questions in, as you go, or would you rather? Oh, see yeah, until just the end? just wait wait till the end if it's right. okay. I'll, um, mm -hmm. I'm very happy to answer questions because I know it's uh, mm -hmm. quite a difficult, uh, strange thing to be talking about, and I've been dealing with it for four years. So I know I know it's uh, quite a hard thing for people to get around. Um, if you. if you do want me to send you um, some Bitcoin um, tonight or tomorrow, mm -hmm. I can uh, I can send you a little um, just so you can get your experience of your first Bitcoin and uh, and see how it works. Because mm -hmm. uh, okay, so. Um, I mentioned before, Bitcoin is, um, it comes from this technology called the blockchain. And now uh, Bitcoin is the first uh, successful application of the blockchain. A blockchain is a series of blocks um, that can be used for all sorts of things, for elections, that can be used for tracing the origin of food, tracing the origin of diamonds. And Bitcoin is just another application um, that is used uh, here. So I don't know how well you can see this, but uh, say A wants to send money to B transaction is represented online and the block is broadcast to every party in the network so it's a completely transparent transaction but people don't see your name they just see numbers and then the um, the transaction is approved and the, and the money moves from A to B and this can happen very quickly and uh, it's irreversible so once the money goes it's gone it can't come back so um, this is just an example um, from my website uh, that uh, so Bitcoin works in uh, in wallet addresses you can see down here this is a this is a wallet address so um, if you um, copy and paste that wallet address you can send money into my account here um, for me thank you very much if you want to do that and uh, you can see that there's a there's a little bit of uh, Bitcoin Bitcoin is also always called BTC so there's a little bit of here in this wallet all right so um, and uh, I talked to you a little bit about buy, mining Bitcoin now, um, which is uh, kind of a difficult concept to understand, but I'll just talk very briefly about it. Um, I'm part of a, um, a club called BitClub. Mining Bitcoin has become very hard to do all by yourself now. It takes a lot of computing power, and you have to buy increasingly clever software to be able to make these more and more difficult um, calculations. So um, 10,000 of us have got together and we are mining in different pools and we get paid out every day um, from the amount of money that we mine. So basically what we're doing is buying mining equipment um, and we're putting in, say, um, we, we buy a pool and put in um, $100 into a pool as a group. Uh, we're, we're getting about, about a hundred dollars a week uh, back back from um, like the, the amount that's coming back so sorry what one dollar a week uh, two dollars a week so it's about a dollar a year coming back from a uh, from the in, uh, investment so if you put in about a hundred dollars we're finding that you will mine over the course of a year about a hundred dollars worth of Bitcoin basically so it's about two dollars a week coming back on on the investment and um, as if the price of Bitcoin goes up, as we hope, then you'll, you'll get more and more back. And the money can go straight into a debit card. Our club has a debit card. So this is just how I'm um, one of the Bitcoin businesses going. In America, you can um, get 20% off at Starbucks by using Bitcoin. And other places have got discounts. And this is where I think Bitcoin um, can come in for your businesses. Is that if you give people a, a small discount for using Bitcoin... On your website or your e-commerce place or even in your um, business as a restaurant some restaurants in Tokyo have got Bitcoin you can use Bitcoin if you give people a discount um, they'll remember you for being special for using Bitcoin and obviously the transaction doesn't cost you as much and does doesn't cost them as much so you're passing that saving on to them and uh, and this is a good way of, uh, of getting started and getting it into your business um, this is kind of what a Bitcoin um, transaction looks like. Um, you can either use those kind of codes that I showed you before, or you can just use a QR code um, for transferring Bitcoin. So uh, just put, put your phone up, uh, just open up an app on your phone and, and just go like that and, uh, and flick it, and you can transfer Bitcoin around just very quickly and easily. It's, uh, it's super easy to do once, once you've spent a few minutes learning how to do it. Um, this is our uh, this is our website that uh, that my wife and I run, and uh, we've got a team of uh, a few people around the world in different countries. Um, we've got a Bitcoin wallet for everyone up here. 
and uh, you can uh, send bitcoins uh, to uh, other members of our, our community. You can show off your social media places here, and uh, and you can blog and the website and things in here. And uh, 